folks, this is Dane uh, at Jonah Guitars. This will be my final uh, video for the Great Guitar Build-Off uh, 2021. Uh, it's an uh, international competition. There's, uh, I think they say over 400 people involved, uh, both kit build and scratch build. Uh, this is considered a scratch build. I uh, start out with a pile of uh, wood and bits, and you make a guitar out of it. This particular guitar started out as an ES335. I had the sides bent already, um, and I decided to go ahead and throw my hat in the ring. So I just took the sides that I already had bent for the 335 guitar and decided to build it uh, for the contest. You know, the concept on this guitar was pretty straightforward even before I thought I was going to be in a contest with it. I just, I just wanted to build a 335 without binding, uh, something with soft, edges. I uh, was curious to see what an all mahogany uh, ES335 would sound like. Uh, the previous one was all, all uh, maple, except for the center block, which was mahogany. So you might notice it's kind of uh, kind of plain. Uh, and that was the concept from the very beginning. I just wanted something that was uh, felt nice to play, didn't have sharp edges on it, didn't need a lot of bling, uh, although I did uh, kind of give in to that having the copper leaf inside of the guitar and the holes. John Williams over at uh, Guitar Attack winds my pickups for me. He actually custom made these on a 3D printer uh, just to get the string spacing exact. I actually uh, contacted him and let him know what the string spacing was right where these pickups landed. And so he used a, a 3D printer and at the bobbins and the covers so everything lines up perfectly. Standard configuration on the switching. We have, uh, you know, just a neck, a middle, which would be neck and bridge, and then a bridge by itself. This is the standard tone control. And uh, nothing push, pull, or anything like that. It's, there are just P90 single coils. They sound amazing. And uh, the fellow that I'm gonna have to do some demos on this will uh, will show you how amazing they sound. And he, in fact, was very impressed with them. He, wanted me to be sure to tell John that he really liked these pickups. Uh, so, the guy uh, is Ryan that's gonna do the demo. He's, he's a very experienced uh, bass player. He, he typically plays fretless, uh, but he was kind enough to help me decide where to stop the frets on this. Uh, and he suggested the seventh fret was an ideal place to stop. And after watching him demo this guitar, uh, I can see that he, uh, he picked the right spot because uh, you can do a lot from one to seven uh, if you're not a fretted player. And a lot of guys that play bass, they never get past that fret. They just play all this stuff up here and all this real estate down here does nothing. So if you're wanting to experiment, this would be the kind of guitar to do it. Stuff, yeah. You go from there. Yeah, all right. <laughs> go Ryan, go. All right, we're here to check out a Jonah bass. This is a very interesting model, uh, based on a 335. It's got the uh, nice little Rickenbacker style cat eye cutout, uh, mahogany all the way around. Uh, neck feels wonderful. This is a very unique instrument in that it's got seven frets and it goes into fretless land after that, as you can see. Uh, P90 looking pickup, so they are built for this bass, hand wired, um, printed on, on a, uh, uh, one of those doodads and uh, <laughs> custom made for this bass. They look like P90s, love the look. Uh, very vintage, but a very uh, unique and modern feel on it. Looks like we have volume, we have tone, and a three-way switch, which goes bridge, both pickups, and front pickup. Um, tuners are... Goto. Goto tuners. Goto or Grover. I don't or Grover. Know. Yeah. I, I Grover know. tuners. <laughs> Go to tuners, you can choose from that. Whichever one works. But we'll just go through a few uh, basic sounds here, and uh, I find that the um, the fretted portion is very punchy. land there. Um, that's kind of a standard both pickups and you can get into the uh, bridge. Go to the front pickup. 
pick up. Not a P bass sound, a very unique sound of its own, which I would expect with a semi hollow body and a different style of pickup. So if you want a P bass sound, get a P bass. strings so you may not get quite the pop that you would with rounds but that's okay so that's all available but where the magic starts is when you get over the uh, seventh fret and suddenly you're in a fretless land this magic that you need to happen. Wow, this is great. terrific and it plays wonderfully both the fretted side and the fretless side just play magically there's a lot of change in the pickups pickups sound great it's quiet as can be the full body is uh, shielded copper shielding in there and it's making a difference uh, rosewood neck Correct? Oh, Rosen yeah. fretboard. Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, ebony stripe? Uh, uh, actually, that's maple in the middle, and then the black stripes are just veneer. Oh, just veneer. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, wonderfully crafted. Um, the control panel is beautifully cut and mounted. And it's just a great sounding little bass. tight sounding it kind of surprises me with the semi hollow how tight sounding this bass actually is uh, good pickups but warm tones Mm-hmm. 
magic that you need to happen. Wow, this is great. Appreciate that. If you uh, feel so inclined, 
Thanks once again for your, uh, your watching and your support of the channel. I appreciate that. Uh, all the guys, especially the longtime guys that have been with me from the beginning, you know who you are. Um, really appreciate the friendship that we've, uh, we've established over the years through our communication with uh, not only the uh, video uh, comments, but also on other forms. And so you guys, uh, thanks a lot. Appreciate the, the support and uh, the good, good thoughts and comments you've always uh, brought to the table. So, hey, uh, thanks. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.